Hey, I'm Kyle Fong Gamer. Welcome back to FM22. It's Journeyman, and we're on episode number nine. We're into our second round of the cup. Uh, meanwhile, in the league, things continue to go the right way. You know, we're picking up the occasional loss or the occasional draw, but we are definitely scoring pretty well, and we remain in roughly the same position we were. It's now late into August. We left off at the very first of August with this, our one-month transfer window, our summer transfer window mid-season. We've lost one player. That's the only change so far. And the one player we lost was actually somebody that was in the first 11. They were at the bottom end of it, but they were in the first 11. So that does hurt a bit. We brought in... 18,000 to sell them, which is roughly what we paid them over the half year since we brought them in for free and, you know, the equivalent of what we paid them in salary. So that part was good. It also freed up a decent amount of salary as their annual was 60K. And quality wise, they weren't actually there. It was Wapi. Wapi, who was playing in a center back role. So one of those three center backs. But that's a real weak area for us. And I was hoping to find some decent replacements. Well, I have a few guys in on trial. And I was certainly hoping that something would work out there. Kim Jin Sung, South Korean player, 25 years old, I was hoping would be that fit. He's not. He's not good enough. Uh, I mean, we can get him in on a free, and he could be a backup, uh, but I really don't want to have to pay him very much money when he is really not up to the level we need him to be. So that means Goino should be stepping up into that starting role now instead of just on the outside being a regular go-to guy at center back where we continue to have a weakness at wing back. But Goino, good for him, good on him, he got called up for the under 23s the under 23s at the international level and he's gone and had a couple good matches there that they've uh, they've managed to win both of so he's not available for this game he'll be available soon enough he'll be he'll be back uh, and we'll get him into that role while i continue to look for somebody but that does mean i have a little bit of a selection headache for today and and hasi is coming in to play that role and that also means i'm still stuck with lestaluhu Ouch on that part. I've got Mofu in today for a Goong. And then otherwise, same squad. So we'll see how they perform. And you'll see who we're up against in just a moment for the second round. Not a very big crowd on hand as it's still early in this tournament. But the big thing here, the big news is the opponent. It is League 2 favorite versus Solo. It's that team that was pipped to win the league last year and then we just beat them they ended up uh, like one point off of second place and just a handful back from us they finished third in that group but then when it came to uh gabriel gets the opener 10 minutes in nice okay that was big but anyway when it came to that phase two they were in our group for that one and they won the group we went through in second place. They beat us in that phase. Uh, and then we just managed to, to sneak on through otherwise. So they did not make things easy. This was a team that uh, was a real challenge for us last season. Of course, we've made some improvements to the squad for this year. So hopefully we're in a better place than we were. But... But this is a team that was an absolute challenge. And for the second round in a row, as they draw level, winning that header against our defense. I'm not sure who was on him there. It looked like it may have been Goino. Uh, definitely not his strong suit. Oh, it's coming off the post, too. Good job to come off the post to, to challenge that, but not uh, able to get the winner on that one. And just like that, it's level. So uh, <laughs> this is our, our bogey team. Uh, according to the interviews. Ooh, there's another one. Hangara makes a nice save on that one. Not only to stop it, but to hang on to it. Could it have been Ed Hasi who was on that post? I mean, normally it wouldn't be. It would be a midfielder. Or a forward, you know. One of your weaker players on headers who would be on the post. Shorter players. I was on the post a lot. <laughs> It's, what is it, like 100, 180? No, no, no. 
168 centimeters or something like that. Five foot six. Sorry, we, we don't. We, we use silly measurements in the U.S. I know. But at least we don't use stone. Stone is a silly measurement. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know. I know the U.S. We have some silly, silly measurements, and then we use a lot uh, of crossover uh, when it comes to tools, having metric and standard. Oh, great through ball in Eunice. Gotta score those. Gotta convert that kind of ball. Jeez. We are all over them. We've doubled up, doubled up the XG. We certainly look the more likely to reestablish control of this one. We have a slight advantage in possession. They certainly look capable of getting another. Sinji with the turnover. Mofu through. Gabriel. Not a great angle, though. He's going to lay it off. Lestaluhu gets tackled, but we recover. But we reset back a little bit too far for my liking. Mofu finds Yudis, finds Gabriel, tries to chip the keeper. He was looking for a corner kick, but I, I think he just went a little too high on that one. If there was a touch, certainly didn't impact. It wasn't going in. Just beyond the crossbar, hits the top roof of the net. Oh, great through ball, and that's that weakness. That was Cristanto who was beaten on that one. I've been trying to replace one of those pair and so that I could rely on the other two, but Cristanto easily beaten there. That's terrible defense. And like I said, even though we looked the more likely, they certainly looked capable. It was only their fourth attempt. Their XG is a .5 and they've got two goals. So that sucks for us. That really sucks for us. They shouldn't get any more goals the rest of the way but it's going to take something special to come back here in the second half i think for one thing we're going to go positive get a little more attacking it's not like we're uncapable uh but we need to wow they didn't get fired up from that seriously you're down a goal and you didn't get fired up from the come on i know you could do better it wasn't like a mad angry yell at you but it was a you could do more you don't think you could do more you know this tournament's unimportant but there's payout there, there's money for it finances uh can certainly help and early rounds like this isn't where the money's at it's the higher rounds nice through ball kyer makes a nice save on that one gabriel could have put that a little more into the corner he was definitely putting that into the roof of the net and it was in the direction of the corner but it was not uh as well placed as it could be Ooh, we do we don't get that one and we give them multiple chances there and end up giving away another corner kick okay i think we need to start making some changes for one thing sinji is tired let's get a goon on seriously they just scored again Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Corner kicks are killing us against these guys. Same thing, far post. Well, it needs to come off a bit quicker. He needs to clear that out. That's that's not good play. Uh, okay, tactics. Let's put a goon into his normal spot. Push Wofu out. A goon is much more creative for that attacking mid roll, and hopefully that's going to create some more chances for us because now we need not one but two to get back in this thing. But two rounds, two away draws, two top league two side away draws when two thirds of the competition right now is league three and below, meaning they're not even in the two playable leagues. So really unlucky to have that i mean at least it wasn't a league one side i don't know if any league one sides are having to play each other at this point but uh ouch this is all i can say is ouch uh and we're it's done it's done there's already it went straight to final whistle on that one that we had a good 25 minutes to play and just like that 3-1 we lose this thing the xg ended up balancing out in the end but we had more shots more attempts we still had slightly better xg we just a defended corners horribly and b could not finish the one good finish that their keeper made an excellent save on certainly made a difference in that goal differential between us but out of the cup in just the second round and without the quality payouts that could come in the later rounds 
Now we focus on the league from here on out. And for the next week, focus on trying to get some sort of a replacement for either center back or wing back. We need one player to come in to fill one of those voids. Otherwise, we're going to have a real weakness at the back that's going to be difficult to overcome this season. Results have been good over the past month as we find ourselves all the way up in fourth place just outside of the international competitions range. I don't see us getting there, especially when, while the results in the league have been good, other things have not been good. As we've already pointed out, we just lost what we at a position that was already very weak, and I've not been able to find any replacements. I feel like I could probably squeeze a replacement in, but two things have gone horribly wrong for us this month besides losing him, that being the first thing. Now the second thing is Masirin out for a month. So the one stable member of the back three is gone. So, ouch. Okay, batters just got a whole lot worse in that defense as Cristanto now is the only one who's got much quality and then we very much need Gowino in there on a regular basis and then we're still going to have to dig deep just to have a third. Is it time to bring up one of those young promising 16-year-olds or bring Ascari back from loan uh, either way we're, we're talking about a real drop in quality but that might be what is necessary to go forward or before our deadline here in roughly 24 hours maybe i do sign that guy after all the korean player who's really not good enough but can i sign him because oh wait there was another thing right another thing those finances that just continue to deteriorate get worse and worse and worse. Now, my payroll allowance of 1.2 million, remember it was 1.4 last year in League Two. This year they gave me 1.2, and I have lowered that and lowered that and lowered that. I was below that. And then about a week ago, a week and a half ago, the board said, oh, by the way, because our finances are in trouble, we are lowering your payroll further. Now it's down to 1 million. And next year is looking to be roughly the same for that. So matters just got worse. So I've, I've literally lowered our payroll by a quarter of a million dollars over the course of this season. And that still isn't enough. And they're pushing me to go further with it. I understand the situation that we're in. But instead of finding more money for the club, finding more sponsorship options, especially when we were a League 2 side and now a League 1 side, right? There, there should be somebody out there. And we're in fourth place in League 1. There should be somebody out there willing to sponsor this club. There should be money available somewhere, somehow. No, no, they're, they're just going to strip the club further and further down. No wonder it was a League 2 side, but... Ouch. I mean, th this is going from bad to worse, and my situation in defense is going from bad to worse. Can we survive this? Uh, position in the league is good. I think our chances, they, they said we need about 35 points to survive on the season. We have 29. I, I think survival is no longer an issue, but I have a feeling we're going to drop down the table a bit with our current defensive uh, calamity. Hours before the deadline, we've at least managed to scramble something together. Now, how good it is, we won't know just yet, but in no way, shape, or form is it bad because I just got a player in on loan for free. No cost to us. If Fernanda, 21-year-old center back, at least will give me some depth regardless of where he is that playing time agreed is regular starter but if it doesn't work out i'd send it back right apologize uh maybe we lose out on future deals with this team but yeah this is fantastic for us so we've brought somebody in i will find out soon enough just how 
good or not good this player is and whether he's going to actually make it in the side. But if agreed playing time is regular starter, he's got to be up there, right, at least. Uh, he's actually got an okay rating for them. Okay. I mean, good potential, sure. Two-star is what we're seeing him as. Not great. But considering that my 16-year-olds that I was looking at going, uh, these guys are next. <laughs> these guys are next in line. He's better than all of those, theoretically. Do I have ratings? I do have ratings. Okay. So, uh, again, not good. But it's something because I, I was really worried about where we were at. This is what he's replacing. He's better aerially, but terrible physicals, slow speed, defending not quite as good as Wilpy. He's better in a couple categories, at least. It's a step backwards, but Wilpy wanted out. The reason why I lost Wilpy was not because of the 60000 in payroll that we were trying to offload. I was, I was willing to hang on to players and just do what I could otherwise. Uh, I didn't want to get rid of first-teamers. I was trying to get rid of our depth to save payroll, especially those who are older and, and not contributing to the squad anymore. Those are the ones that I'm happy to offload. I didn't want to offload Whoopi, but A, he's a fullback first, center back second, and that meant that his ratings at center back were not good. He, he was not playing well as a center back, so he, he was definitely a weaker one on the squad. But B, he was wanting us to to sign a an improvement at that left wing back and it just turns out that indonesia it's not a position in indonesia there's only a few players that are even trained there at all so regardless of who we needed to train somebody we needed to develop somebody i've been trying to get goino to be that guy and that's not panning out for us i was trying to get Whoopi to be that guy that's definitely not panned out for us. I had to work on him as a center back first. But he was upset that we never signed anybody. And he demanded a, a transfer. So to not have the entire squad fall apart, I, I let him go. And considering that we got almost 20 grand for him and saved that 60000 off payroll, it was a move I kind of had to make. Didn't have much choice in the matter. Nanda is not a replacement at all. Uh, Goino is. Uh, looking at Goino, you can see Goino much more well-rounded. Similar speed, similar defending, mentals, not quite as good aerially, but he adds the physical part and, of course, has plenty of potential. But you can see Nanda is not that far off from where he's at. So for what we have, it works. You can see Cristanto is... Kind of similar to the mold and just a bit more well-rounded. So uh, he's tolerable. Even though my assistant has him rated as two stars, I'd probably put him at two and a half comparative to these guys. Uh, it's better. It's better than what we have in some of our other options coming off the bench or coming out of the youth ranks. So I'll, I'll take it. Regular starter, I don't know. First option off the bench, yes. I really can't catch a break. I mean, we we bring Nando in, and at least it gives us a little more depth. Uh, not much quality, but, you know, something. But then literally the next day, not even 24 hours later, Cristanto. Bruised ankle, two to three days. No big deal. Walladain, two to three days. Tight hamstring. N not a big deal. However, we have a match. <laughs> we have a match, I think, tomorrow. And I have three defenders out. I think somebody's definitely making their debut tomorrow. Oh, and, and then we still have international duty for Goino. I don't know what day he's coming back, but it's somewhere around in the next day or two. So is he available for the next one? Do I have any defenders? Am I going to be playing my 16-year-olds? We'll see. Can I play my 16-year-olds? Uh, the registration just closed at midnight. So I had three days not to till the match. That really, really helped because both Walladain and Cristanto are available they both pass their fitness test they can both go for 90 minutes though they are an injury risk and i there's not much i can do about it because nanda is being forced to play and we are still waiting on goino to get back he is currently under 23's match which means a dossi for the second time is in the side my backup there 
is Maidula. Maidula played a fair bit last year. The assistant manager, for whatever reason, really likes him. He does not have a terrible rating. He has played enough this season under the assistant manager uh, on the games that I've bypassed that Maidula is out on yellow card suspension. Yeah, how, how has he had that many matches? I don't know, and he's that far down the depth chart, but okay. So he, that's happened. So he's not even available. So 16-year-old Sayafri is on the bench. Aksa is out on loan. Those two have about the same quality. They're actually only slightly below Nanda uh, in quality and maybe actually even better than Adasi. But here's the problem. Sayafri coming off of injury. Resumes full training tomorrow. I don't know because he's not senior team. I don't know how well fit he is for this game, but his condition is pretty low. So late if we need a sub, especially Adasi, we're probably going to give him that first appearance. But again, injury risk. Got to be careful. Midfield looking good. Front two looking good. Lestaluhu sucking it up, but we got to suck it up and get on with the program. All right, so we are at Persic. Uh, Persic is another one of those semi-recently promoted sides. I think the year before us, uh, they had received promotion. They held on, but they are struggling near the bottom of the league right now. I think they are 16th out of 18. Yes. So currently in the relegation zone, they need points today to escape said relegation zone. At the moment, we've slipped a place, but that's just because others played before us and scored those points and we can move right back up into fourth place with a win here i'm not worried about that high placement in the table i don't think we're good enough to challenge the top three there's a pretty sizable gap between them uh, and for the most part the whole top six we've claimed one win against the top six side we've just been really consistent against the bottom half of the table in fact we've lost no games to the lower uh, members of the league Mid-table, we've actually only lost once to the mid-table, and that was on the road, and that was close, and that was with injuries in that match. So, a uh, nice, a good, oh, hits the post, gets the outside of it, though, and it goes out instead of in. Had the right kind of roll. If it hit the inside of the post there, it would have been a goal. We're looking good. Oh, thought we had a chance on the through ball for Eunice, but he... Uh, didn't make a move. We hesitated for a second. Back past. Skank. Agung. Nice goal. Great bend on that one. Curls it around the keeper into the back of the net. And we lead by one. And it's only the seventh minute. And we've already gone close once before and had what looked like another opportunity. And we've already got a goal. Wow. Okay. Walladay already on a yellow. Gotta watch out for that one. Uh, I literally have no backup for him, so I might need to give him directions to uh, stay on his feet. Paladin's ball over the top goes nowhere, but Eunice recovers the header. Nanda. First time we've seen him do something, and he gives it away. But it was an ambitious ball over the top, something that has netted us a lot of chances. So I'll give him that one. That just seen out. Scrapes the outside. And they've gone close to drawing level. And Gara intercepts that well on the corner kick. It's just been a real weakness for us. Shots are at two apiece. XG is pretty dang close. Possession fairly close. Yeah, we are definitely not in control. But we do have the scoreline advantage right now. So gang retreats. Agung. Nice ball through. Agung. What a run. Sinji, that one's cleared back to him. Second chance, Agung gets a shot at it, but that volley doesn't generate much power. He just gets it towards the target. Agung, nice control there. Finds Sugang, Yudis, through to Gabriel. Little far out for that one. Offside? No way. That's not even close to offside. What are you talking about? He's five yards on. He made a sideways movement. He didn't backtrack. Anyway, okay. Uh... That was Nanda. Nanda taking the chance there. So he is aggressively getting into a forward position. I like that about him. And again, he gets on the end of that one. This is the target, but good signs. Good signs. Oh, nice through ball. We did not defend that terribly well. Oh, what are you talking about? 
Oh. No, that was a penalty. And Asi. Uh, all leg and Hegara with the save! Yes! Maintains the lead. Terrible, terrible penalty, but I mean, it's still up to the keeper to be patient, wait, and, and do that. Uh, it takes balls to be patient, wait for it, instead of guess and dive. I, I prefer that method. You, to me, you make more saves. Yes, it's harder to get the ones at the edges, but you're going to make... Oh, weak. Weak free kick. Halftime. Still ahead, but man, oh man, we are struggling at the moment. They have uh, twice as much twice as much XG as we do. Of course, I'm sure most of that, you, you probably get 0. 0.8 when you step up to the penalty spot. I believe that's kind of the standard. It's it's a goal converted roughly 80% of the time. It, you know, unless you're unless you're Villarreal trying to score on David De Gea twice. <laughs> Twice he saves it. Three subs for the op opposition. Wow. Big changes. They are definitely going to be going for it, but Walladay, great interception on that one. Sets up the counter. Cristanto is really struggling today. But it was Hasi who gave up the penalty, so I'm really surprised about Cristanto's uh, rating at the moment. Ooh, great block there. That one absolutely could have been a goal. And that was Nanda. That was Nanda who made that diving tackle to block that one. It was huge. Gabriel loses the ball. So gang, great tackle there. Starts the attack the other way. Gabriel is through, but by the time he picks up that ball, his advantage was gone. He lays it off for Sinji, who blasts it up well over the top of the bar. Not to Rosie, but it was definitely going into the stands. Nice through ball for Yudis, but not great advantage. He ends up earning a corner kick, though. I was hoping he would have flashed that through. He had a little bit of space there. Could have flashed that through to the far post for Gabriel to run onto the end of, but instead took the shot. Ooh, that one on the line. Sataya Jaya makes the save there. Hangs onto it, literally, with ball on line. Great overlap from Walladane. Crosses in, and Sinji can't get on to the end of it. That's cleared. Lestaluhu, what could he do? Gets it to Lucas Gabriel. Cleared out, but that was nice. Eunice, Sinji, Agu, thought he was going to be more aggressive there. He had a chance to turn and play a through ball for Lucas Gabriel to the left side, or maybe Eunice to the right side, or take it himself if the seas part as both of those go to make their run. Three on two. That was a great opportunity. Wasted. Gabriel might have been offside there and is. 70 minutes gone by. We have some substitutions. What can we do? We There's plenty we can do. But what sort of backups do we have? Not much. Midfield having a great day. Sinji on a yellow. Walladane I'm kind of stuck with because I do not have a backup for him. Siafi for Cristanto. I... That's something I'm afraid to do. Nanda is having a great game. Uh, he's tired, but I'm not bringing him off. He's having a great game. Mofu for Sinji. Let's start with one. Oh, we've had a lot more chances in the second half. We've caught up on the XG. Okay, 80th minute. Lucas Gabriel having a terrible day, but you do not bring him off. Do I bring? No, no, no. Uh, Cristanto having a terrible day, so let's bring Siafri on. Give him a shot. Eunice picked up a knock. Okay, that means we are going to go with Ezreizel. Bring on the veteran. Not the young guys. We've already brought on the young guys. What a Eunice. Eunice still on the pitch at the moment. 86th minute. We're getting awfully late here. Great possession. Keeping the ball away. When we get a chance, we're going to go for some time-wasting. Still in possession. Yudis gives it away, though. Shot from well outside. Not a fan of those. Go ahead and do a lot of time wasting at this point. We're in position for three points. We still can make some more substitutions. Gabriel onside, thanks to where the free kick was. But out for a goal kick. Uh, Agung having a really good day. But, oh, that's all my subs. There's only three at this level. 
Okay, there you go. We see it out. We get the three points. Challenging game. Really challenging game. Of course, most of their XG coming in this moment. This moment being the penalty that was saved. And that is the turning point. Hangara with an 8.2 rating. Ifan Nanda with an 8.1 rating. Agung and Sugeng. Uh, Sinji having great days. Lestaluhu having a 7.4 rating today. Defense was huge for us, where the offense struggled a bit. We should have been able to get another goal, but it, we just couldn't muster it together. Our, our chances were, were never quite clear chances. We had lots of minimal chances, just couldn't capitalize on them. But we do get three points on the day and continue our rolling through the league. But again, defensively, there's some concerns going forward. So I could see us slipping down the table a little bit, but can we stay above mid-table? Seems like that could be the place we're headed. That's going to do it for this one, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.